Hey guys, Nathan from Intervalli. I'm here to talk to you about the all new four in one sensor. We're gonna go through a pairing process via smart things right now. Um, so what you'll see is first thing I did is actually take my instructions out of the box uh, and I went and opened my instructions to page uh, five here, uh, page five. Very nice page. Page five says, including pairing your sensor, smart things instructions. So we're gonna go through and do that. Uh, I have the brand new uh, smart things app here, not the classic app. Uh, we have the all new smart things app and a brand new smart uh, four in one sensor out of the box. Um, I'm taking off the back just for ease of use for this video. But let me put my phone into screen record mode. Uh, we're gonna record this so you guys can actually see the steps and the things that I'm doing as we're doing this. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm in our Inuvelli headquarters here. Be able to add a device. Um, I wanna do a device and then I'm gonna click scan. And when I do that, I click the button on the back of the form one one time. Uh, if you probably aren't able to see it, but it begins to blink rapidly. Uh, pretty quick, just with one tap. And it's in searching mode and, and smart things here. So eventually, uh, once smart things has figured itself out, this light here will stay light uh, for one to two seconds. And I know that because it says so here in the instructions uh, on how to do that. Um, so after it stays lit for one to two seconds, it turns off and then the Innovelli 4-in-1 sensor pops up in the new SmartThings app. So I'm just gonna rename this device Test Sensor. So it's Innovelli 4-in-1 sensor, Test Sensor, done. After I'm done, I'll go back to my main device page here. Scroll down, find the device. Here we are. We've got our device popping up. Uh, obviously, we already have the device handler installed for, for ease of use here. Um, so things are working, motion sensors here, <laughs> temperature and humidity must need to calibrate still. Uh, illuminance, that probably also needs to calibrate. It's pretty bright in here, but battery is reporting 100%. So that, I mean, that's it. Uh, honestly, it's a pretty simple process. Um, if for whatever reason you need to exclude your device that you just installed, uh, you hit the settings up here, or excuse me, oh, this is where you can edit your settings, I should say. Um, you know, it's easy to do, just like the old device. Everything you'd need to do is in here. If you want to exclude it, you hit edit, and then you hit delete device. Yes, I want to delete, and you press the button on the back of the sensor one time. The sensor will begin to blink, and then it will show that it has been excluded. So device has been deleted. So that's it. Uh, it's a pretty simple process on how to include and use and exclude the device um, via the new SmartThings app. 